Have you ever wanted to capture a photo of lightning or capture based on some other kind of trigger? Um, I have, and I've been using a couple of neat devices uh, to help me capture things in these cases. Uh, so let me introduce you to the remote triggers that I use uh, and carry in my bag. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, for years, I've always wanted to do things like capture lightning during a storm or take time-lapse type shots of the stars at night or some sort of event uh, that goes on. Much to the chagrin of my family and friends, this has led me out in the middle of the night in weird places or uh, out into thunderstorms uh, to try to take these these types of photos or, or capture these types of events, uh, hopefully without getting struck by lightning or eaten by a bear. So the first of these triggers that I want to go over is actually a tool that I bought a couple of years ago called the Pluto Trigger. Uh, this is one, it had the feature on it of being able to do lightning detection, which was something that I really wanted to try at the time. Um, I was sort of successful with this in the past, but only once. Um, being able to capture lightning without any kind of lightning detector is going to result in you sitting out in a storm, taking sequential photos over a period of time in hopes to get a lightning strike. Uh, the Pluto trigger actually helps you out in that respect because it does have that lightning detector and it will actually help you capture those bolt of lightning, those bolts of lightning in order to create a great photo. Uh, this is done through an electromagnetic pulse that it detects and then activates the shutter on your camera. So when you have your camera all set up and you have like the length of time that you want to take your photo for, uh, depending on your scene and depending on the light levels prior to the lightning, um, you know, you get your camera all set up, you hook this trigger up and then you uh, set off your lightning detector. Nice thing about it is you can cover your camera and keep it protected from the, the elements and be able to sit a bit further away or in a safe place so that way you're not struck by lightning. So this is that neat little trigger that I was talking about. Uh, when you order it, it comes with a, a little cable that connects to your camera. It is camera specific. Uh, this is meant for the Canon cameras. Uh, and it comes with a companion app that you can do a bunch of different things with. So I want to go through a couple of the features here of the, the Pluto trigger. Um, like I said, this is one that I bring with me pretty much everywhere uh, because it does have a good solid feature set of uh, things that it'll do for me. Uh, the chief of which is obviously the lightning detection because at the time that I purchased it, that's what I was looking for. Uh, it's really nice to have that. Um, another thing that it does do beyond just a regular shutter release, uh, you could do timed releases, uh, do time lapse or HDR with it. Uh, you could also set it up to do star trails for you to help you put together composite images of star trails. Uh, other things that it will do, it will trigger based on sound. Um, there is a laser tripwire that comes with it as well. So if you're out taking photos of um, animals at night, you will uh, be able to set up this laser tripwire so that way when an animal or something crosses it, it'll take that photo for you. Uh, another sensor that it does come with that I didn't get at the time um, is a drop sensor. Um, so when you get the people that take all the really cool photos of, of drops of, of water or colored dye or whatever that are frozen in that moment, uh, that's very challenging to do and the drop sensor will actually work with the trigger to uh, take that, help take that photo for you. So there's a couple of neat features that also come with the app uh, for this trigger that uh, are really handy to have. Uh, the first of which is a depth of field calculator. Um, if you set what your focal distance is going to be at certain apertures, uh, it will tell you uh, how, how much space in front of and behind your subject you're going to have uh, in focus uh, based upon that information. Um, another nice thing is the neutral density filter calculator. So you can set up you know, some of your settings in there um, for how long you want to take your photo for, uh, you know, what your ISO is, what your aperture value is, and it'll help tell you uh, which neutral, which strength of neutral density filter that you should be using. Um, another neat kind of feature that I really haven't used too much, but is kind of cool, is a light meter. Um, there have been times when I've been out and it just, the, the light has been a bit confounding. So I've used the light meter to help tell me, um, you know, where those levels are at and, and help guide me uh, into getting a proper exposure. So the next, 
remote trigger that I use, uh, that I carry with me is also another app. And it's actually an app that comes directly from Canon for their uh, Canon EOS series cameras. Uh, the, the Canon Connect app is really nice because it connects via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to your camera to do several things. You can uh, download your files with it, um, share them on a network or use FTP uh, to help get your images off the camera. But one of the really nice features about it is uh, you can actually do live shooting uh, through the app uh, to the camera. So now I use I use my phone for this or an iPad uh, in order to connect to my camera. And I've, I've used this in a couple of different cases where I wanted to um, do a couple of different things. One, be able to set up my camera and not have to sit there exactly with it the entire time. Um, another time I actually went to a rocket launch and I wanted to be able to sit in my car where it was warm because it was February. Um, so the, having a remote trigger, you know, connecting by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth was really handy because I can keep an eye on my equipment, but also stay a bit more comfortable inside the car as well. Uh, so the Canon, Canon Connect app is really handy for that because, um, where the devices like the Pluto trigger will help you with intervalometers, uh, time shots, and being able to trigger based on sound and everything else. The Canon Connect app is really nice because it, you can operate your camera completely remote on this device, uh, whether it's a phone or, an, or a tablet of some kind, you know, to, to connect to it. As long as you have that connection, you can set things like your aperture value, you can set exposure compensation, you can set your shutter speed, ISO, everything else. And then with a button right on your, right on your phone, you can just click away. So as I'm, as I'm hitting the button, the camera is just clicking away. So that's, that's really nice to have. It's, um, you know, it's definitely a, a neat feature to have. But then also once you have uh, taken a photo, you know, with your phone, you know, if it's something that you, you know, are going to take multiples of, if you have time, you can download that image and view it on your device a little bit bigger than looking on the back of your screen or in the eyepiece. Um, so that, that's the Canon Connect app. And like I said, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on, on the camera, as long as it's equipped with it, it's really handy to have. So thank you very much for joining me uh, this week uh, to go over some of the remote triggers that I carry in my bag, uh, whether it be a remote uh, device uh, that connects to your camera that you control with, with your phone, or whether you have an app on your device to connect directly to your camera. Um, these, these types of triggers are very handy to have and allow you to expand your capabilities and allow you to do things with your camera that you might not have been able to do without them. So like I said, thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, really do appreciate you coming around. Um, if you could give me a like and subscribe, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want some more information on the Pluto trigger, uh, I will leave a uh, affiliate link in the description below so that way you guys can check it out um, and purchase one if need be. And uh, if there's any comments or questions, uh, let me know those in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thanks again for joining me and uh, get out there and capture some great photos. Thanks.